Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again and I've downloaded a few additional mods, one of which adds additional skills to some of the characters. So we're going to be playing as one of the default characters here, Huntress, but we've got the Salvo, which is shoot a volley of three close range arrows with highly uncontrollable spread. Uh, critical strikes can cause the arrows to split. And then we've also got the Explosive Arrow um, that fires an arrow that explodes on impact and releases eight bomblets or 12 on a crit uh also between the ballista and the uh arrow rain i typically like the arrow rain more but the ballista does a lot more damage but let's go with the arrow range because i find that more fun and let's just jump on in uh i did do i did do one run just before this to make sure the mods were working and to unlock one of these skills because it was a really easy unlock it was like kill a teleporter boss without using our secondary ability Ooh, okay this is interesting this isn't what i expected at all like a shotgun. I like this. Um, I will say that I did experience one potential bug. I don't actually know if it was a bug or not. Um, okay, I like this. I like this. And that, ooh, that, that explosive one's nice too. Um, we are playing on monsoon difficulty here as well. Um, yeah, I did experience one potential bug. Um, some enemies were invisible, but that might just be because I downloaded quite a few mods and one of them might just add an invisible type of champion. Because they weren't, like, invisible as in, like, you literally couldn't see them. They just had, like, a really thin outline around them. So they were hard to see. They were kind of, like, pseudo-invisible. Um, and yeah, that was kind of interesting and I'm not sure what to think about that. Yes. Okay, we got a Shrine of the Mountain over there. I'll go grab that. But yeah, I, this is one of my favorite characters. Also, these have started appearing. There's these little black things next to all the shrines. I'm unsure what they're about either. Um, I've added a few mods, so we'll find out, I guess. That's pretty good. Um, secondary skill healing and a bit of reduced cooldown on it as well. What the hell's that thing over there? Extra damage on hits, really good. We've experienced this before. I'm really liking that bomb hit. Also, yeah, you need to go... But this is very short range. Very short range indeed. Uh, increased critical chance for each um, shrine chance activation until the next stage. That's pretty good. We use chances of shri uh, shrines of shrines, shrines, shrines of chance. Wow, that took a while to say. I really like that explosive. That's really nice. What the hell's this thing? Uh. It dealt damage to me. It costs 31 to use. Okay, let's try and stick around for this, I guess. Because I'm unsure what the hell that is. That is new. That is something I have not seen before. Explosive probably not super useful against that. 31. Purchase the strength of the sacred flame. So now this flame is surrounding us. Really need to up our crit chance if possible. I don't want to stick around the stage too long. I also got a thing that makes our, our um, crates and stuff open faster, so you might be noticing that. Um, try and get a snipe on this guy. We've got limited range still. There you go. It's so good, the explosives. It's so good. God damn, the accuracy. I wonder if there's any way for us to buff up our accuracy with this. Probably not. We're probably just going to have to play it incredibly close range, and then if we want to hit things long range, we've got to use our explosive. Which is fine by me. I'm not exactly sure what this um, power of the fire or whatever it was called is doing for us right now. Um, I'll take the parrot feather, whatever that is. After taking damage, getting a boost in speed, that's actually really good. I really like that. Because you can, you can sustain it while you're on fire, and I wonder if it stacks. If it stacks, it's even better. Have that as well. Apple, gain health and shield. Not bad. Okay, just looking for the last few bits. I think I, I think the last thing I'm going to grab here is that um, health chest because I don't have any healing items as of now. This is a really cool ability. I like it. There was another ability as well, actually, that I haven't tried, which is basically you don't get auto aim, but you can pierce now, which is an interesting idea for this character. There's another invisible enemy. Look, there's one. So it's one of the little fire goobers. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. It seems like it might be a glitch. But it might just be a new champion type. Another one of these. Okay. I suppose that does count as healing. I didn't even really think about that. I do have a healing item already. Right. Stick on the boss. 
Right, remember this is Shrine of the Mountain, so we got to be careful here. It's a precarious position. Okay, the the um the fire's happening now. I see that. Um, there's like a little status effect on this guy. Interesting. So I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but it seems to be a negative status effect on the enemy. Which is nice to see. I'm trying to stay the hell out of the way. Um, I've got one of them dead, that's good. I think I'm going to wait for my arrow rain to come back up before I start handling this guy. Luckily, with our big um, AoE, it's actually super easy to hit these guys still. Honestly, that's so good. Okay, th these abilities seem pretty good, and the, the, the fire thing, it seems somewhat helpful. Um, we get ourselves the beetle guard, which is really nice. We also get the gun, which I think on damage we gain gold sometimes. More gold, more damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We didn't get any synergies here, but honestly, early stages were unlikely to. It seems to be that when we hit an enemy, they kind of split off into like a power. That's another elite as well. That's a new elite. Maybe the invisible one is just a new elite then. I did have quite a few mods. <laughs> I just love modding the hell out of this game. Good stuff. So, really, the ideal situation is we be out the stage before buying anything to try and gather up as much damage as we possibly can. I don't know how good of a strategy that is because that is going to waste a lot of time. Um, but it seems like it could be interesting. So far, so good, though. Come on, my big boy. My big jubbly. Got a healing drone there. I, I would rather have that if I can. Yeah, Arrow Rain isn't as effective as a Ballista, but goddamn is it just so much more satisfying in my opinion. Okay. Well, it's impersonal. Health Drone is 96. Well, that's quite a lot. We'll come back for that later, I guess. But anything that can garner us extra money early, we probably want to take. It seems as well it's pretty random with the spread, where sometimes it'll be really tight and super easy to hit, and other times it'll be a lot more sporadic. Boom. Oh my god, even in the air that hit just, just right. Right. Taking a little look around here. There is a sneaky little chest under here, I'll grab that. Fire a missile and taking heavy damage, that ain't bad. Another chest here. Honestly, that's a one-hit kill on most things. I really like that. And then here. Chance to apply fairy on hit. I do not know what fairy is. I'm guessing that's a new status effect from one of these items. Or one of these mods, should I say. I wonder what my prop coefficient is with this ability. Also, we want to be using this because, uh, for one, it's cheaper, but also... Oh, there's Fairy. It did it then. Um, oops. I did see there was an invisible enemy around here. There he is. But, like, see if I, see if I can show you. Oh, you can't quite see it. There you go. Oh! So that blue thing was an invisible enemy. So maybe they go invisible and turn normal again every now and again. That's kind of cool. But, yeah, every one of these we do, you can see at the bottom left there, we get a stack. And that stack is, I believe, attack speed, damage, and something else. It might be crit, uh, crit chance, which would be really nice. I hear you, goobers. I'm having a hat. There's, there's fairy. So, what's fairy doing? So, fairy's just ticking damage. It's pretty basic, but useful. Unfortunately, we've failed three times on that thing, which isn't great. But honestly, at the same time, it's not a bad thing. Because um, that means we've gained three stacks. But I'm not going to spend any more money on that thing. I was just about to say, hopefully we can find another one. It was 41, wasn't it? But yeah, the, all of these have these little monoliths in front of them, which I'm just not quite sure what they're about. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all shrines can be used more than once. That's good. Kind of waiting out the clock here. Have a vial of liquid there for the health regen. 
That applies fairy pretty quickly. That's good. And explosive on you. Hit you like that. Got you. Increase base damage by number of stages cleared. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cool items here. I like it. I like it. I'm definitely thinking we're gaining crit chance here, because we seem to be doing a lot more crits than we otherwise would be. Not quite sure what that is. There's that same thing again. Increase critical strike chance and attack speed. Yeah, it is critical strike chance. Regenerate health on kill. We like that too. Okay, so much else we want to get around here. Oh, that was a good hit. What the hell is that thing? Was that just a root or was that like a... Oh, the hell? Give item. Um, Let's give it that. Oh, what the hell? Whoopsie. <laughs> Don't really know what I did there, but something happened. Right, let's just go for the teleporter event, I think. Okay, this guy should be fairly easy to avoid. Actually, a really easy boss for us. And that's a pretty good one as well. Critical strikes increase attack speed. Good stuff. We really need some base critical strike chance. Rather than just having it on failed shrine pulls. But oh well. Beautiful. Love that. This is a pretty good build, though. These these items are working well together. Oh my god, we can bear such large damage. And the fire rate that we're gaining here is stacking up nicely as well. No synergies. We don't have any base game items, to be honest. The synergies are going to be kind of rare. I don't think we're going to get synergies all too often when we've not got... Actually... I don't think we have a single base game item right now, so... Yeah, this drone's here. Can we give him more items? Not that I'm saying I want to, but he's an interest it's an interesting idea. I cannot give him more items. Intriguing. There you go. Right. I think there is something that, that makes us do all crits. And I, uh, like a legendary item, so hopefully we can find that. Here's a, a void thingy over here. Get that going. Oh shit, that guy fucking destroyed me. What the hell? I realised I didn't actually pick up that item. Um, getting hit increases armor by 20 for 2 seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. Get out of here. Chance to burn and gain gold on here. Nice. Beautiful. The bloody bleed, guys. Good job we can, like, easily get away from enemies here. Got a good few status effects going, I like that. Have one of these. Less damage from attack from behind. I mean, I'll never say... No to less damage.
Deal more damage to persistent combatants. I'm guessing that means the longer combat occurs for the more damage we deal. Something along those lines. You're a bit annoying. As are you. That heavy damage rocket thing is pretty good. I still don't really know why it's in a drone. And what that means for me, but... I'll accept it. We've got whatever this is over here. Offer to the shrine. Okay, we should maybe clear out the enemies before we offer to the shrine. Because for one, I don't know what that means. And for two, we are being hounded by a bunch of vermin. Which unfortunately, my ability has a real hard time of hitting. It's good that like, such low damage classifies as heavy damage in this game. Gain health and a shield. Okay, I don't know what the offering that I made to the shrine was, but I'll accept. Our base damage is still a bit low, I'm noticing. Like, when we burst with our abilities, we can we can kill stuff pretty quick, and when we get crits, it's pretty good. But our base damage without a crit is, is pretty pitiful, to be honest. Activating tactical crits, a healing orb, that's not bad. Right, there's got to be more items up around the back, so let's go see if we can find them. I feel like we're missing out on quite a lot right now. I'm just going to quickly check up here. Okay, nothing up here. Right, we're going to... Oh, there's another void thing over there. I'll definitely grab that. I love the, um, the three blinks thing. It's really good for getting around, but also like good for stopping fall damage and stuff. Upon activating a skill, fire a number of rockets depending on the skill's cooldown. Corrupts our bundle of fireworks. Okay, that's very good. No one really cares about bundle of fireworks. It can, bundle of fireworks can be good. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. So if I do that, I fire a bunch of homing rockets. Oh, that is that is a really cool ability. I like that. That's definitely a modded one. But a modded one I can get behind, certainly. Right, at this point, we definitely have quite a lot of damage. I think I'm going to open these last two things and then head to the boss. Piggy bank, and I'm going to go for the stake. Is that just extra HP? Yeah. Extra HP ain't bad for me. And then we also got low health enemies receive damage over time. That's also really good. Oh, we've got another void thing over here. We are getting lucky with these. I didn't even notice this one. Uh, gain regen per missing health while in danger. Converts all cautious slugs. Okay, nice. Right. Let's get this boss. It is in Pervalord, which is not a particularly easy one. Okay, the regen that we have right now is amazing. The bleed that we have right now is gonna kill me. I need to get away from here right now. Okay, I did manage to regen quite a lot there, that's good. Did almost die though. Dude, is this guy still hitting me? Where are you, boss? Okay, he managed to chase me all the way around. It's the little sticky things he puts down. It's really awful. Those little buggers. Fuck off with those. Luckily, I can, like, dash through most of them. Oh god, I'm bleeding heavily again. The bleed is just so aggressive. The, the HP regen we have right now, though, is exquisite. I'm loving that. He is very persistent, though. I 
gets another stack of bleed on us. Once it hits two stacks of bleed, you're basically going to insta-die if you don't get some healing. Luckily, healing is coming to us fairly easily. Snow begins to clear. That's nice, at least. Don't exactly know what that means for us, but it's better than having it snowing, I guess. The thing is, as well, the spikes kind of stick around, too, so... It's not like you're out of the woods just because you dodged a pair of them, like... You could end up backing into them so easily. Okay, we got him, finally. Chance to push or pull enemies um, nearby on taking damage. That's potentially good. I don't know, don't know about the whole pulling them, though. Okay, nice. That was a very close call, but we got through it. Very close call, indeed. A lot of fun, though. Oh, hello. Aren't you a fun enemy to see off the bat? We got him straight away, which is nice. Of course, we do have our legendary ch uh, chest here, which is blah, 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 over here. Let me just go and see how much it is. 3,800. We should probably save up for that. Oh, what are you? You look horrendous, sir. I very much do not agree with your existence. He's dying seemingly pretty quickly, but... I don't know how long I can keep that up for. The thing is as well, it's like, oh yeah, this guy's okay, but what, what about when the next one comes along? Okay, there you go. Nice. And that is already at 1,000. 3,800. So we're still a little bit of a ways off. There's another invisible guy. Good. About halfway to our goal now. A little bit under. Good. This will be our first legendary this run as well, so let's hope it's something good. Yeah, those invisible buggers. On on the character that doesn't get the auto-targeting, I can imagine those being an absolute ass. I love that you can kill an elite that quickly. Almost there. I love the noise it makes when we fire at all those little perming things from our ability. Right, it seems we've taken out the main horde here. The good thing about this as well is we are gaining a lot of damage from hoarding this much money. Like you can see, our basic attack is killing things very quickly. About a thousand off. Unfortunately, not really getting the enemy population I'd like to see. I don't really know where they are. Normally when it's like this, it normally means there's some enemies hiding somewhere. Should grab this while we can. Increase damage um, when there are no enemies in 18 meters. Yes, yeah, pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, this character is um, going to be more likely than not up close with things, but still good for the explosives and stuff. I, did, I just realized that dashing fires one of these homing missiles. I didn't even think about that. Dashing actually does deal a bit of damage for us. Oh, did you see the way I fired my arrow storm there? What the hell? Come on, enemies, where are you? I don't, I don't want tons of you at once, but like, a few of you would be nice. There you go. Don't stack three stacks of bleed on me, that's very rude.
Okay, there you go. We got enough now. We got a cube. Chance to freeze enemies on hit. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, that's actually really decent. Especially considering it gives them that threshold of health where we can, like, snap them. Uh, now I just want to go over here because I did see that there was a, um active item to, to purchase somewhere around here. I don't remember exactly where it was, but we still don't have an active, so... Is it up here, maybe? There it is. Unfortunately, it is an active that is worth jack shit. Right. Keep moving. I want to quickly see what this is. Oh, we don't have enough. What the hell? What did all you guys get here? Right, take that. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of money for chests here. There's also another one of these fires over here. Stop spikes on being hit, slowing enemies. Enough. Which begins to settle, that's good. Look at all this radius around me. Is. This is my... Uh, my radius for my ability of outside 18 meters, but it's a little bit visually impairing, I'll be honest. Yeah, look, there's another one of these over here. I'm not sure what having multiple of them does. Maybe I need a certain amount of them to gain extra health. Maybe there's like a certain amount of them in each stage that I need to be looking out for. Kind of want to find out. Move faster after using a utility, that's good. Utility is this skill, isn't it? The one that I'm dashing around with right now. Okay, a few more chests over here. I think there's one over here that I never got, isn't there? Yeah. I'm not sure what the little bar is, like this little bar thing here is. I'm not quite sure what that is. Another one of them. Don't get bled too much. Right. Last two crates and then we'll get out of here. Move slightly faster, slowing effects in pet patch you less. Extra fire rate, very nice. Right. I couldn't find another one of those fires. Let's get out of here. No idea what boss this is, is going to be, and I'm a bit scared. Sanguine Holy Elder. Not, I don't know why I read Holy there, but Sanguine Elder. I'm not quite sure what Sanguine means. Sanguine's normally blood, right? As long as I can keep freezing, I'll be happy. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, we did get him. Nice. Oh, there you go. That's 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 great for two reasons. One, it actually gives us five percent crit chance, but now it means our crits mean more as well. Still no synergies yet. Things are getting a bit hectic around here. 
certainly. God damn the bombs. So good. Good, good, good. I think we handled this stage pretty well. We've got our um, legendary and all that. That's what I like to see. One second. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. This stage adds some issues. What in the... Wait a minute. I was just like... I, I, for a hot minute there, I was like, what the fuck's this? And I realized, I don't think this is a stage I've ever been on before. I, this is a modded one. I don't recognize the stage at all. That's an invisible one of these guys. That's not Tango. Pack up and move. Not quite sure what that means in this context. Freeze, you dumbass. Ow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been on this stage. <laughs> what 3D printer do we have here? That's not very good. I think it gives us attack speed, but if we get hit to low health, we lose it. Pack up and move. It lets us move crates. Purple feather, pretty good. Interesting. If that's what it is doing... He's, while he's frozen, we need to get him. We have to deal so much less damage to enemies that are frozen. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Get me the hell out of there. I don't know what on earth it was that was dealing that crazy amount of damage to me then. But it was certainly something. Also, you can bugger off as well. Sanguine elites are uh, no joke. Okay, let's look for some crates here. What on earth is that? Investigate. Seems to do nothing. Might be useful somehow. Hmm. Okay, there's the there's the boss. Interesting stage. I think this is a modded one. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really need to move any of the crates around right now. Still looking for a good 3D printer. Honestly, that one might be worth using a little bit. Yeah, that was, that was definitely... I don't know what I lost, but that was definitely worth it. We definitely have some really, really brutal elites now. But yeah, this sprint speed, we've had such low movement speed for such a long time now. I'm very happy about this. It's good. We've got another void thing here as well. Uh, Thirty percent chance to duplicate damage over time effects. That's pretty decent. Who the fuck bled me then? These sanguine fools. I'm liking these new elite types, but goddamn, there's some brutal ones. I, I, I genuinely don't know what mod has added them, but I, I do really enjoy them. It's just getting used to them is a little tricky. Like, fuck is teleporting. Look at this. That ain't right. That ain't normal. I've managed to freeze the uh, the frost elite, so that's interesting. Oh god! I don't even know what I picked up there. All I know is things over here are getting mighty fucked up. Sticky bombs. I'll take some sticky bombs. He 
ATG missile launcher. Lovely. Whatever that was. Reduce fall damage. That's good. Try the mountain. I mean, why not? I like the way you can pack those up and take into like the next stage, I'm guessing. That's pretty cool. I'm hoping the amount of sticky bombs that we just got will help a lot. Oh god, the healing that the enemies are getting right now is obscene. I think we need, to, we need to go and activate the boss, don't we? There's too much crap over here. I will say I'd rather get that first, though. If I can manage it. I think I can manage it. Right. And away we go. Teleporter event, let's go for it. Grandparent, there is two of them. I still don't really know how to fight the grandparent, especially up close, which I am now. I think normally it's better to fight them at a distance. I will say, oh god, I fell off the map. The frame rate is suffering, like, hard. I think it's just because of how much is going on. The game is not okay with this. Keep my distance right now. I don't, as well say, I don't really know what's behind me. Fuck me. I think there's three grandparents, you know. I think there's three of them. Ah. I don't know what's blinding me right now, but it's scary. That's one gone. Holy shit. Landed by the... Oh my god, I died. <laughs> I don't even know what killed me. No idea. Um, killed by grandparent. Okay, they must have hit me with one of those big beam attacks. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Um, I think the hecticness of Monsoon is definitely great. And that was a very interesting run. One thing I will say about modded that's, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Stacking items without 3D printers is so difficult now that if I wanted to like build crit or attack speed, it's very difficult to do. So it's a, it's a bit iffy in that regard, but I, I am having a lot of fun with it. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching too. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.